Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. Welcome to Cyberbyte, the home of the latest and greatest technology news and reviews in one video on YouTube every week. This week I'm going to be talking about the brand new Samsung Galaxy S5. So let's get started. Early rumours forced Samsung to bring the launch forward to February after the S4 failed to sell as many as predicted. This could have been due to the company being reportedly told to scale down its launches and make Android more of a star of the phone by Google. This was then made official with the teasing invites for Samsung's Unpacked 5 event which took place last night at the Mobile World Congress event in Barcelona. It seemed that the five in the title got a lot of people's attention. We now know after the event that it meant the Galaxy S5. A toned down launch was likely after the New York Times reported that Samsung was going to lose the theatrics for the next launch of its handset, which is something that would make a lot of people happy after the terrible Broadway unveil for the S4. But this didn't stop the orchestra. The audience did have to sit through at least two songs, which was nice but took ages. Moving the actual event out of the way, let's move on to some of the features and specs of the Galaxy S5. Firstly, Samsung will not be following the lead of Apple and doing a one-week turnaround. Instead, the company have said that the S5 will not be ready until the end of March, at the earliest, and the official release date is actually sometime in April. The Galaxy S5 is crammed full of new tech, but will carry a price tag which will set you back €800, Euros, which is around £582.88. and There was a lot of talk about a whole new design for the Galaxy S5, with some people hoping that Samsung would break away from its current style and try something new. However, this has not happened yet. Design-wise, you can't really call the Samsung Galaxy S5 ugly, because the company do know how to put a phone together well. But at the same time, it's the old, same old style, just taking a few elements from the current Note and calling it new. The metal edge around the phone is almost identical to the Note 3. The phone is a lot more grippable, however, and feels nicer to hold in the hand, due to the new back, which is the main change. It, while it's still plastic, it's no longer shiny, making it look much nicer aesthetically. The overall construction of the device is, again, more solid, but the device is a lot bigger compared to the Galaxy S3 and S4. Also, the device is waterproof. Last year we saw Samsung Galaxy S4 Active appear after the S4, adding a sturdy waterproof body to the design. And the Galaxy S5 has come with these features as standard, bringing it up to scratch. Samsung already had a display that's sharper than the human eye can detect, so why and how would it go any sharper? The screen of the Galaxy S5 is now 5.1 inches instead of 5 inches. We were all expecting a grand step forward, the first manufacturer to bring a 2K screen to the masses. All previous Galaxy S handsets have come with the trusty Android operating system, so we didn't expect that to change with the S5, and quite right we were. The Samsung Galaxy S5 comes with Android 4.4.2, which is the latest version of Android KitKat. The Galaxy S4 rocked up with a pretty decent 13 megapixel camera on its rear, but there were still plenty of rumours surrounding the Galaxy S5 suggesting it will take things a little further with a 16 megapixel snapper. This claims, uh, these claims were backed up by not one, but two rather average photos which claimed to have been taken on the Galaxy S5, sporting a resolution of 5312 by 2988, aka 16 megapixels. And this is indeed the case. The Samsung Galaxy S5 comes equipped with a 16 megapixel rear camera and 2 megapixel front camera. It shoots 4K at 30 frames per second, and there's a whole host of image functionality new in the Galaxy S5. This includes video stabilization, selective focus, and HDR. While recent reports reckon that at least part of the screen will be a fingerprint scanner, with hot corners allowing you to log uh, into your phone without having to make much effort, this isn't actually the case. What you have instead is an accurate scanner that works when you wake your phone. You scan your finger down from the screen to the bottom of the home key. Recent leaked packaging showed the battery coming in at 3000 milliamps an hour, but this was a little off uh, 
off of the mark, with the actual battery power coming in at 2,800 milliamps an hour. This is still impressive, though, with Samsung quoting standby time 390 hours and talk time 21 hours. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you'd like to read more about the Samsung Galaxy S5, there will be links down in the description below uh, to some other news articles, including our own. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.